Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, AMF1534 here. We're being barraged by people, but welcome back to Bioshock nonetheless. So, hey, I picked a really, really shitty spot to, uh, to end my episode last time. Right with these two yahoos coming after me in full force, and I got telekinesis active for whatever reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great idea. Yes, throwing one of those at somebody is really gonna do a ton of, a ton of damage. Ah! Fucking A. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this camera now, because I don't need it there. And I'm just going to kind of run for my life right now. I mean, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to Point Prometheus at the sheer expense of us really just trying to uh, get to where Fontaine is. I don't know what the hell is shooting at what right now, but it inevitably did help me kill that guy. Now we just gotta kill this little wench over here. Yeah, kill the wenches! So, I got, a, I got a story to tell you here in just a minute, and, you know, when the time is right, then I'll talk about it, but unfortunately, I do not have a ton of free time and, you know, ability to concentrate. Really? Smoke bombs? Eh, whatever. Fuck it. God, there's someone over here, too. People every... Oh, these guys are in a firefight. We got, you know, I got the gun and I got the bombs. Let's see who kills each other first. Ooh, and... God, there's electricity and... Sh Whoa, boy. No, not the grainy stuff. I hate the grainy stuff. It always spells bad. Every time. There's never been anything particularly good that comes out of this. Can I go in here? Okay, not go in there. Probably because it's, it's you know, blocked by stuff. Okay, there's a Vita Chamber. And there's a bot shutdown. You know, ugh. Okay, so still trying to find a way to deal with these guys efficiently before I get myself killed in a burning pile of fiery rockets. Uh, there's got to be a way to do it. This will probably be the way to do it because this seems to kill people better than everything else. God, what the hell, man? Get a hold of yourself. Yeah, suck on one of those, you dick. No, oh, there we go. Thank you. Man, why haven't I been using this for longer? Come here, buddy. There you go. Now, can I pick that up? You would think you'd be able to. I mean, I know that it is an exploding one, after all, but... Stay the... Yeah. Stay in one spot. I'll be able to take care of you. All good. There's st definitely still another big daddy to deal with, so... Remind me not to uh, forget about that, even though I know that... You know, because I'm doing this live, obviously nobody's going to be able to remind me to do that. Especially if I have to address it in this episode, and there's no way in hell anybody's going to be able to remind me of that, besides myself. So, what have we got? Exploding, exploding young bucks. That's always a good thing. How about an automatic hack tool? Those are always good. Electric gel is good. Um, I might as well get some trap bolts, just because I'm running out of bolts of everything else. Ooh, yeah, and we can hack this thing, if, it, if it's worth it. Only if it's worth it. Anti-personnel rounds, yes. That is definitely worth it. Yes, and steel tip bolts. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, we got two of those, and so we're going to get a couple of... Oh, we're going to get one of those, and we're going to get a bunch of these. Ooh. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah, see, we're getting... We're getting armed to the teeth here now. Not any ammo of any type left now at this point. Okay, so now that we're, you know, four minutes into this video and I still haven't talked about it, so... I just wanted the company! I'll bet you did. Now, you come back here, because I want to put a bolt right in your face. Because I can. Ooh, Little Sister's Orphanage. That would definitely explain why there's probably going to be a... Ooh, one down. Who wants another one? Shkabam, you're dead. Okay. Maybe not. There. Now he's dead. God, who's shooting now? Oh, apparently didn't kill him. Stay there. There. Now you're dead. Fucking A. Okay, so, on Sunday, it was yesterday, I know that I do. Ooh, there you are. I know that I did not make a video yesterday, but this is what happened on Sunday. And, I mean... If you guys don't know anything about the zombie inv the the quote-unquote zombie invasion 
you know, thing that's been going on lately with all the people, you know, chewing on each other's faces and bullshit up in Miami and... Or I guess it'd be down in Miami from where I am, because I'm in Oregon, so that would be technically the other direction. But then there was the whole thing with, uh, you know, up in, like, New York or whatever, where there was the people... There was, like, the, the lady that... You know, was chew like eating her baby's heart and his brain, and the other foreigners up in New York that were chewing on each other's brains and all this bullshit. So, you know, now everybody's like, "Oh my God, the zombie apocalypse has started!" and blah 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 blah. So, I'm working yesterday by by myself up at you know up at the store, and uh, I get this lady that comes in, totally frantic as shit, and I can't figure out why. And then, oh, it definitely becomes very clear momentarily. But, um, so, I'm taking care of her, and she comes in, like, all frantic and such, and she, she asked me, and I kid you not, she was dead serious. She's like, uh, do you guys, do you guys by chance have a zombie antigen? Yeah. She literally asked for a, for a fucking zombie antigen. I was like, you're kidding, right? She's like, no, have you not, have you not been reading and watching the news lately? There's zombies. It's like, ma'am, you do realize that these are not quote-unquote real zombies. These are people that are literally totally drugged up out of their gourds from smoking bath salts and taking other types of drugs. I don't know how that wrench just went flying up in the air by itself. But it's it's ridiculous. First of all, though, I mean, let's, let's just consider the fact that maybe there was a zombie invasion. Do you think that a... Aha! Yeah, go go back to sleep. You, you know, you were you were just you were dreaming. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, old man Jenkins here went flying. He was not ready for your little explosive behavior there, sir. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. I was just getting warmed up. I'll bet you were, but guess what? So was I. Oh, come on. Oh damn it! See, it's such a waste. Fuck! Come on! Oh no. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just juke you. Fuck. I'm all twitchy. Yeah, there we go. And I can pick it up, too, because I got stuck in his brain. So, yeah, so here we go. Theoretically speaking, if there were a real zombie invasion going on, wouldn't you think it would be kind of weird for a health food store to be selling the patient zero antigen for zombies? Don't you think that, oh, I don't know, maybe the government would have that? readily on hand wouldn't when they be the ones that are you know doling that out to people instead of a small vitamin store in a small suburb of Gresham or you know somewhere in the surrounding area don't you think that would be kind of weird ma'am that I amongst all people in the US would be selling this I mean just think and not to mention you know if I did have it I'd probably be charging thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for it and she's like, she's like, well, there's got to be something, though, because what happens if they get when they get here? I was like, ma'am, this is all theoretically speaking. There are no zombies around here. There's people that are just drugged out and obviously, you know, acting like a bunch of fucking idiots. I could be wrong. I mean, if I'm if I'm totally wrong and there really are these, this actually is the start of the zombie apocalypse. I'm probably gonna be the first one to go because I'm the one that's sitting here telling people that it's not. But, and at the same time, I really, I'm really glad that I don't own a gun shop, because speaking in terms of, you know, Resident Evil 2 standards, you know, the first guy in the game to die was the guy that owned the gun shop, so, you know, thank the, the almighty deity that, that, uh, there is definitely, that I definitely do not procure a gun shop, so, there we go. But yeah, like, it blew my mind that somebody was, like, legitimately coming into a health food store looking for the zombie antigen. Like a, like a, and then it, it wasn't like somebody playing a, like it wasn't like some kid playing a joke. Because I've definitely had that. Like I used to get kids that would come into my store all the fucking time looking for like steroids and stuff. Ooh, steel tip bolts. Yes. Oh, get the hell out of here. Hey, fuck with this. Yeah, get out of the fucking way. You are getting in my way of picking up bolts. Incendiary and otherwise. That's, that's actually a, a kind of a cool concept, you know, having them all tacked up to Andrew Ryan's face. Now they're everywhere, unfortunately, because I went and got all giddy and knocked them all off the... Oh, hey. How are you? You got a little wench with you? If 
you do, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come kill you. Oh, she's not there. Well, I can't kill you now. It's not even worth it. Be lucky, Mr. Sir, because I would definitely be doing some stuff. If, oh, oh, here we go. This would be the perfect time to fight. Come on out of there. You know, yeah. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much my story. I definitely did try to sell her stuff for her immune system because, you know, I thought that maybe I could play it coy for a little while and maybe she'd, you know, maybe she'd believe me and, you know, buy some stuff anyways. Unfortunately, that is definitely not the case. So let's see if we can maybe uh, get some trap bolts set up here. Let's, let's see if maybe we can, uh... Uh-huh. Okay, this could be good. I've never really experimented with trap bolts in this game. Oh, okay. I've never really experimented with trap bolts yet in this game, so I'm just going to experiment with it. Oh, damn it. You dumb whore, you're getting in the way of everything. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, no! Okay, that's definitely not how I was intending that to go. Not quite at all. Okay. I got an idea. Woo, hey. Um, I should try a different type. I mean, let's be honest, that's not working. Well, I mean, the, the concept was good. Unfortunately, it did not go over the way I had initially anticipated. That did not work either. Let's go to grenades. Or let's go to me dying instead. Ouch. All I need is just this one more. Oh, wow, that's a really long ways away. Okay, well, I'm coming for you. I got some I got some, uh, role, some heat-seeking role-playing games to come shoot at you, though, Mr. Sir. So don't you think for one minute that I'm not going to use it to my advantage. Oh, yes. This is also uh, entirely um, brought up in my mind just because of the whole you know thing about zombie invasion and the fact that this game is nearing completion that it may not be such a bad idea for me to you know oh don't you dare I'm not I don't have any beef with the girl however I do have beef with you I got a weird question if two vegetarians had an argue they were like you know if they were arguing with each other would they call it would they still call it beef. Or would they not? Alright, I got an idea. Come on. Come on in here. I'm ready for you. There you are. Oh, this may not work as good as I thought it was going to. Take one of those. You've got to be close to dead. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up and switch the damn thing already. I must kill him! Yeah! You're dead. Okay. That was nice. Now, give me all your shit, and then I'm going to take what you have. The leech inside of your body that's making your skin really dry and scaly and gray and making your eyeballs not have any anything in it. Yeah, so you're all safe. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, time to go downstairs. Time to go downstairs. Get out of the way. Okay. Now, we can switch back to a gun that would be more well-suited for the situation going down here. So, yeah. Kind of makes me want to do a... Ooh, yeah, what are these guys? Now, nah, what do we have? What have we here? Shotgun rate of fire. That would actually not be a bad idea. Breakage chance. I think we'll go with rate of fire there. I mean, I do use the shotgun more often than anything else at this juncture. For the most part, at least. Who's leaving the alcohol in there? Not a safe place at all. You're dead. That's probably why I was left in there, because she didn't even know. Somebody left it there because she's dead. She's not of the living. Okay, yeah, uh, but uh, back to my story, though. It kind of makes me want to uh, want to do some type of uh, Resident Evil game now that I, you know, now that once this game is over, I'm going to have, obviously, something new that I can do. Oh, focused hacker. Tight. Do I even have anything there in that or fewer overload tiles when hacking. Eh, we'll put it in the gene bank. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Never play a man for the short con when you can play him for the long one. Atlas is the longest con of all. Ryan wanted Frank Fontaine dead. I just gave him what he wanted. As Atlas, I got a new face, a clean record, and a fresh start. Now, it's time to take her back, Ranger. Uh-oh. That's weird. Alright, so what the hell's going on in here? There's gotta be something here. 
Nothing? Alright. So, oh, I'm already, I'm all the way back down here again. So where the hell am I going now? Uh, let's check out the Point Prometheus. Got to go to the metro station outside of Hestia Chambers. Alright guys, so we have run out of time for this episode here. And thanks for listening to my whole crazy ass rant about nothing, more or less. Where the hell are we going? Oh, I never went in here. Yeah, I should probably come in here. Or wait, did I? I did. Yeah, I already came in here. What the hell? We're going the wrong way. And yeah, we're going to go back out here again. Yeah, so when we come back next time, we do need to get to Point Prometheus. Apparently, I just went totally the wrong way. But hey, it ended up being kind of okay in the long run because we got some important stuff done. So yeah, we will, uh, we will take care of everything next time. So you guys take care, and I'll see you later.